name's Scott Devwood. I'm the head basketball coach at Bellman University, and I'm here with our extraordinary strength coach, Steve Hartman, and we're going to take you through Well Care Wellness Wednesday. And we're going to use two great student athletes of Bellman, freshman Hannah Farrell, junior Justin Betts. And as these months are going to turn cooler and winter's going to come upon us, number one, that's a great thing because that means it's basketball season. But two, it's an opportunity for you to utilize what Steve's going to put these athletes through to make you feel better. This is about your wellness. This is about you feeling better and keeping your body in shape through these colder months. Steve's going to put these great student athletes through some exercises that I want to see you doing in the confines of your own home. For our Well Care Wellness Wednesday, Steve's going to put them to work. Let's get these fine athletes, let's get some work done today. Let's do it. Okay, so exercise one, we're going to start with a modified push-up. Justin is going to get down on his knees for the modified starting position. He's going to put his hands down on the floor, and notice his shoulders, hips, knees are going to stay in that straight line. He's going to lower himself down slowly as far as he can to try to touch the floor and then push through his arms to come back up to the starting position. The way what we don't want to see in the push-up is the hips stay high and the elbows flare out. So Justin's going to line himself up correctly. He's keeping everything in line. Elbows come in at about 45 degrees, and then he pushes back up. Great job. Now to do a progressed version from this modified push-up, he's going to bring his knees up off the ground, and again, maintaining that neutral position, hips, knees, ankles, shoulders, Head is all in a straight line, and he's lowering down in great control and pressing himself back up. Okay, so moving on from our push-up, which was our upper body strength movement, we're now going to go into a lower body strength movement. Hannah is going to demo a modified lunge variation, which is going to be in a split stance position. So she's going to put one leg in front of the other. Her arms are over across her shoulders. And as she goes down, she's going to think like going down an elevator, straight down, straight up, not a saw going forward and backward. She's pushing off of the midfoot of the front foot, and she has to stabilize as she goes down and controls it about a three second on the way down and comes straight back up. The next variation of this is to make it more dynamic. So you can hold things in your hand. You can hold something in a goblet position, like a loaded backpack. You can step forward with one foot and push off and come back to the starting position and alternate legs to make this a forward in place lunge. So moving off of our lower body exercise, we're gonna throw in a double leg power movement and modified with this, we're gonna start with just a squat position. So what Justin's gonna do is put his feet about hip width apart and as he goes down, he's keeping his knees in line with his toes. Show me a bad rep, Justin. Bring the knees in. He's not letting that happen. He's also not letting his upper body round. He's got good posture up top. As he squats down, he throws his arms out in front of him. You can do this body weight, but also with your arms, you can hold a loaded backpack or some books, any type of household item that you can hold in both hands to add some extra load. The next variation of that is to add a little bit of a jump to it. So we're gonna call this a jump squat. He's gonna snap down and jump up. And as he does it, reach his arm up, snaps down, explodes up, and he lands nice and soft. You can make this as intense as you want. As, as high as you jump, will bring the intensity up. So if he jumps very little off the floor, it's not as much intensity. If he jumps up as high as he can, you apply a lot more force through the floor, you can make it a little bit harder. And to wrap things up, we've hit our upper body strength, we've hit our lower body strength, our total body power movement. We can't forget about the core. So what Hannah's going to do, she's going to show us a modified variation of the plank. Elbows are going to be down on the floor, and she's going to keep her knees down and just brace her, her ribs down towards her belly button and hold that for about 20 seconds. If that's easy, great. The progression, raise the knees off the ground. And again, she's thinking keep a neutral spine from her heel all the way up to her head. We want to see everything in line. She'll hold that. Then if that's easy, you can progress to what we call a plank reach where she's going to reach her right arm out and bring it back and then alternate arms 
for 20 seconds. What you want to focus on is not letting the hips rotate, keeping everything square to the floor. If she brings her feet out wider, she can get a, get a wider base and make this movement easier. She can make it harder by bringing her feet in closer. And there you go, your core variations. Great job, you've completed that workout. Now, since we've been sitting down most of the day and to give ourselves a little bit of a cool down, we're gonna go into a hip flexor stretch. What they're gonna do is go down on one knee. You'll see the left knee is down. What they're gonna do is raise that same arm up overhead, drive the hips forward a touch, and then lean towards the right side. And you'll feel your psoas and hip flexor open up. We're sitting down most of the day. This is gonna be really tight. So to loosen that up a little bit, hold for about five seconds on each side, rotate for three rounds, and you'll be ready to roll. We have a great rule at Bellarmine that we never delay gratitude. And I wanna thank extraordinary Steve Hartman, junior Justin Betts, freshman Hannah Farrell, and I want, most importantly, I want to encourage you to stay well and practice your well care wellness Wednesdays. Every Wednesday throughout this beautiful winter. Go Knights! When you start losing the weight that's been holding you back, you have more energy, more confidence. Life just seems to fit better. So take Baptist Health's online weight assessment and learn more about all of our weight loss services.